Supervisor Ken Yeager, to quote a local paper, was the first gay everything, elected everything in this county. In the 1970s at San Jose State, this student walks into my office and says he'd like to get engaged in local politics. And his career went on from there. We all have to go the extra step. Ken and Wigsey together were the founders uh, of Bay Mag. What we needed to have was a gay organization in the valley here that was dedicated to bringing about political change. When I first knew him, he was pretty shy, and I've never been shy. So he became the brains of the organization, and I became the mouthpiece of the organization. When he ran for the community college board successfully, Ken set a new standard for elected officials, becoming first openly gay elected official in the county. San Jose State often hires practitioners, so Ken was one of those. He taught several courses. And one of the things that he did was write a book, which was titled Trailblazers, about people who were gay or lesbians involved in political campaigns. At San Jose State, I heard of this professor that was now an elected official that had written this book. And for me, that was the very first time that I was beginning to see myself reflected in the world around me. Kent ran for city council. He came to me and asked about the possibility of raising the rainbow flag on the city flagpole, and we did that. And you know, looking back, these kinds of things seem very small these days, but it was a very, very different political environment. Ken proposed that the city officially recognize gay and lesbian partnerships, extending employee benefits to those partners, and that really shook up the house. We were then faced with a threatened recall. The recall never materialized, and we were able to extend those benefits. Ken was really a leader of those things on the city council, and then, of course, on the county board of supervisors. He had begun his tradition of raising the rainbow flag over City Hall in observance of Pride Month. And then it became, why can't we just do it all the time? And so we did. He became a deputy marriage commissioner and personally performed a number of marriages, including mine. Ken's really committed to his constituency. He's always thinking about how county government can make people's lives better, make people healthier give them a better opportunity in the world. He's always taken the people he's represented, not just seriously, but really to heart, and really tried to serve them in a way that would make them proud. Ken has long had a passionate interest in health, and a lot of that's been around AIDS and HIV, but that's by no means all. Well, like the fast food toy ban, um, that was something that really he championed. Ken's been preserving open space and also finding like recreational amenities like for the urban area, be it a playground, be it a trail, and that's just been incredible to so many kids and families. Ken was the chair of our First Five Commission, and he's been that North Star for how do we create the lasting impact that places the children in our community's well-being as number one. The governor appointed him to the Air Resources Board. He's also been on the Caltrain Board. It all revolves around healthy living. He's a health nut. He just finished the A's ride to LA. He was doing yoga, and then he was swimming. Showing up to work in the morning, they know he'll want to take the stairs, and it's just not the thing I want to do. And he does mud runs. Mud running. I would say that Ken's strangest attribute is rappelling down the sides of tall business buildings. <laughs> You're not getting Ron to do that. Uh, I'll just make a donation. I love to play practical jokes on Ken, introducing him at a Spartan event and saying, Councilmember Ken Yeager is now going to sing the Spartan fight song, and he was not happy about that. Ken spearheaded the establishment of an Office of LGBTQ Affairs at the county which has become a, really a national leader. We're out in the community engaging community members and it's been able to bring hope for so many families who have felt unsupported or alone. Ken was the one who started this from the beginning. I wish Ken the absolute best. Hopefully there's a lot of time with Michael. I'm sure there's a marathon or a race somewhere already programmed. Congratulations, Ken.